Hi Scouts! My name is Abby, and today we will be earning the Junior Drawing Badge. Before we start, we'll need to gather our supplies. Today, you will need a black pen, a normal pencil, a variety of colored pencils, four pieces of paper, a ruler, a folder, and a creative mindset. Before we start drawing, we'll have to go over some artist's vocabulary terms. Still life is a not moving object that you can draw. A medium is a thing you can use to do art with, such as paint, pencils, markers, clay, and everything in between. A monochromatic drawing is a drawing that's filled with many colors from a certain color group, such as sky blue and navy blue. Both colors are blue. Perspective is the direction or angle you draw things at. And lastly, a portfolio is a collection of artwork that is usually kept in a folder or a book. For this step, you're going to be picking a still life image online and drawing it in black and white. To find your example photo, look up still life on Google and you'll find plenty of good options. Then, grab your black pen, a black colored pencil, and a regular pencil. Now that you have that, grab your piece of paper and you're going to draw that still life three times, each time with the different mediums. If you look at this first photo, this person drew a bowl of plums. They used a normal pencil for this and they left some spots white to make the plums look shinier. In this other photo, you can see a pile of fruit. In this, it looks like they used a black pen to draw and a gray pencil to add some shading. They also left some spots white to make the fruit look shiny. Now, you are going to draw something that is mostly one color. You can pick any type of tree, a fruit, or a flower if its petals are one color. And I want you to try to add dimension to it by pushing harder and softer with your pencils and also using multiple shades. If you look at this picture of a banana, you might want to color the whole thing a solid color yellow. However, if you look at the bottom part of the banana, it's a bit darker than the top because the light doesn't reach it. So you might want to use an orange or a brown to add some shading on the bottom. For the pink flowers, you can see that the center isn't completely white, but it's a really light shade of pink. So, you might want to color really hard on the edges, but in the center, really light, so it's a very light pink that almost looks white. Now, you're going to draw something from a bug's eye view. Make everything look really big because you're tiny and add plenty of detail. Think of the perspective from which you see the world. In this photo, you could see a drawing of a tall building. Maybe you're an ant crawling on the sidewalk and you look up and that's what you see. Now, in this picture, it looks like you're a little beetle crawling through the grass and looking up to the sky. See how the grass is towering above you because it's so much taller than you. Now, in this last picture, you can maybe be an ant just crawling along in a city and you see giant skyscrapers. Now, the last two pictures might not actually be drawings, they could be good reference photos. Next, we are going to each create and draw our own cartoon characters. Make sure to capture their personality and what they like in the drawing. Think about specific things, like where they live and if they play any sports. Maybe your character isn't human. Maybe it likes to dance. Maybe your character is a furry friend. What does it like to eat? What emotions does it feel? Do they like playing sports? What's their favorite color? And lastly, maybe they like to go outside. Maybe they like to explore. 
The choice is yours. Now that we have all the art, let's present our portfolio. You'll need to folder and you'll need some pencils to decorate it and make it your own. You'll keep all of the artwork that you made today in this folder. Finally, take your portfolio and present it to a family member. In this example of a portfolio, they put all their art in a book. Well, I hope you had fun today, Scouts, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!